Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man and your girl Debbie from Dunga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, let me extend a special welcome to you and also to say thank you very much for joining the family. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here with me, say manners and respect to my Bajan family, to my Trini family. What about my Jamaican family, my American family, Canadian, British, the works, and it goes on and on all the way in a sweet salama of family. Big up on herself. Now today, I... Did you all see a comment that was posted about two weeks ago or three weeks ago? Somebody posted a comment. Um, I think it was on the steam fish video. Saying, don't you thumbs down this lady's video. Let her feel comfortable. Then other words, tell them self is sweet in me because show me the band when my mother got a market and me a donkey for scale pick me. Encourage me to do the videos and to continue talking patwa because they will take the patwa and go get the translation. Well, Mr. Arfuna, you know, did you all see that comment? Huh? So they are planning to steal Debbie Dongayad um, cooking videos. Aye, hello, let's proceed. So, what I want to say to you, I realize that a lot of people have problem with me and the patwa. But let me tell you something, patwa go around straight 24-7. Take it or leave it, okay? That is for those who have problem with the patwa. I know some people, they don't speak the patwa, but I am encouraging you to come to my second channel, which is the Jamaican Debbie Debs. And there we will enlighten you a little on the patwa. And some people that are not even Jamaican, they don't have a clue. They are saying, Miss Debbie, run patwa. I like it, I understand it, eh? No, that is that. Enough of that. Today I want to share with you, we are still on the down, cooking down. Cook, these little videos are cook down videos after all that meat and all of them stuff. We're going to be doing for you today a, a, this is my dish, this is my invention, a Jamaican callaloo cook down. In this dish, of course, I'm going to be having some callaloo and the video on how to prepare the callaloo to bring it to this stage is already on the channel. It has been there more than a year. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm going to be putting a twist to it with some spaghetti. Yes, and we are going to use with herbs and other them something. So first of all, you know you have to get your spaghetti going on. So right here, I've got my spaghetti water. Let me turn it up a little bit. I've got my water coming to a boil to put my spaghetti. I've already salted it. And I'm going to be putting a little oil in there. And you know the oil is to let the spaghetti, let them let the noodles be free, you know? They don't stick to each other. And let me tell you sometimes, do you see? Sometimes when you get some of those noodles, but them are not good, good quality. You could have throw one girl and an eye night when them don't cook them sticks same way. So try to get some good noodles, see yeah? Try to get yourself some nice noodles. And you can also use fettuccine, any tall, anything that is tall and flat. You don't necessarily have to use a spaghetti. You can also use angel ear. Anything like this. Probably if you want to use the macaroni, the tall ones, you know, too, you can go ahead. So, I'm going to be putting in my um, spaghetti. And due to your um, the instructions and your um, spaghetti that you get, each one of them has their own manufacturer instructions. You see what I'm saying? So, follow the instructions on the package of the one that you get. So, you put it in and you give it a little stir. If you have your um, spaghetti pot, the tall one, I don't have. So I always try to cook it in a flat something here. I am like when it's cooking at these, it cooks even. Everything goes down one time. Sometimes when you have those tall parts, the spaghetti part, you have to put them in from the top. So some of them, some part of it cooks. So I prefer to cook it like this. Eh? Now, cook it to what? How you like it. I'm going to be pre-eating over here another one of these. Because inside there, we're going to be doing a little cook-up, cook-up. Because I just said to you, it is some colorful cook-up. Jamaican Debbie Debs Kalalu Kuko. Huh? Uh, Jamaican Debbie Dunga Yard Kalalu Kuko. I'm going to be using some margarine. If you have butter, use it. It is going to give me some more flavor. I'm going to use it 
leave it to melt right there. So, whilst that is melting, let me introduce to in, introduce you to the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to be using all of these are my chopped vegetables and herbs are where you want calling. So, if you want to do what I do or if you want to use what I use, I will leave for you in the description. If you don't want to, you can substitute what you want for this dish, okay? You don't necessarily have to use what I use, okay, family? Oh, and if you're watching me and you're not my family and you're still thumbs in down the videos and you still want to know, yeah, you can use what you want to use. And if you want to use what I use, I still leave it in the description for you, okay? So I have here some finely chopped garlic. I have a few pieces of like red um, sliced sweet pepper. This is red, the, the green and the white part of the scallion since I'm not using onions. Some celery, okay? So finely minced garlic, celery, onions, green and white and some sweet pepper. Right here, I know you're noticing it from, from we started. I have a ton of mellow ripe tomatoes, all right? I have here some um, pimento and coriander seeds crushed. I have a little black pepper and I might be using some um, a little piece of this to give it a little, you know, a little spice. Okay, I have here some freshly squeezed coconut milk and this is the milk of the dry coconut. Family, if you cannot get coconut to use fresh coconut milk, use powdered or canned. This is 2019. Do not stress out on yourself. Okay, just use what you can get. Okay, and bring what you can to the dish. Okay. Whilst we're here, I'm not through. So we have one butter being melted and it looks like we eat two eyes. So let me turn on this thing here. Okay. So we have that over there being melted up. Even though it's not finished, we can put in all of these at the same time. I told you, I'll leave it for you in the description. Okay. So riding and whistling with spaghetti over there cooking off. And I'm doing this nice little saute inside this other one right here. And I'm using some margarine. Just Oh, this is a thing. This is a 2% margarine. So you can do what you want to do. Now, as we go along, you will see how the dish will progress. You can use soft, some finely chopped chicken breasts or chicken thighs, boneless. You can use sausage, a little boneless pork, a little whatever. You can add some meat to this dish if you want. I will not be adding any meat to it. Okay? I am not going to say either it is a vegetarian dish. I don't know. This is something that I have that I've been putting together for one of my original done by me recipes. In, this, is one of my, this is one of my prize recipes that I've invented for my Jamaican cookbook, okay? So, you, I'm not saying it is vegetarian or whatever, because I don't even know nothing about them, so I'm not getting into them. So you, if you are a vegetarian and you're, you're watching it, you can say to me in the comment section if it suits a vegetarian dish, okay? Now that we have that, we want to get our eat up a bit. And inside here, we're gonna be adding all of these tomatoes. When you add the tomatoes, you're gonna got, you're gonna have to eat the have the flame at the highest, okay? Because we are gonna leave the tomato them now to stew down into this little saute mixture. So when we come back, these tomatoes will we want them for stew down. So if you don't have fresh tomatoes, you can use those canned chopped tomatoes. You know me attack as you all get them, okay? So we're gonna leave this to stew down now, and when we return, you'll see the progress that has made or we will be making. Okay, now family, look at look at how we have our tomatoes stewing down. Still on the I eat. So now we want to be putting in coconut milk takes seven to ten minutes. So I'm gonna be putting in some of this coconut milk, not all. And once I put in my coconut milk, I'm gonna be putting in some fresh thyme, and also I'm gonna be putting some salt in here. Okay. Do to your liking. We have our um, pasta. So I'm going to turn my pasta off because I don't want it to cook all the way through because we'll be incorporating almost at the end of this, the pasta inside this dish. So I'm going to let it turn, turn it off there and I'm going to be draining it anytime soon. So I'll put it in a little salt. Okay. And we're going to leave this to come to a boil. 
okay? We are tasting right here for salt perfection. We want to taste for salt perfection and also the flavor. I'm putting in like this inside what I have, coriander and um, pimento. And then also we'll be grating a little bit of ginger to the coconut milk in case. You know, some people have the little milk something there with them system. Just in case, not a lot, you know, because ginger and kalaloa no, and them good, but just for the coconut milk, okay, family? And you see what I did. So nobody said, Miss Debbie, how much millimeter what I grated ginger that? Honest to God, I don't know, family, okay? Now, we're going to be putting in our kalaloo right inside there. On the eye eat, still, still on the eye eat. Putting our kalaloo down in there. High, high, high heat. Okay, y'all? And you can substitute other greens for the kalaloo. We are going to cover this now on the eye eat. We are going to drain our pasta. And we are going to let this stay on the eye eat for about three to five minutes. So when we return, you'll see the progress. Okay, now family, still on the eye, but we are going to bring it down to about medium. Okay? So we're going to come right here so now and get this thing all stirred up. Yeah, we are going to stir it up right here now. And I did, I'm family, this piece of kalalo was in the stock here. I, I, I prepared this kalalo last night. Wow, I was sleeping so much, you know, whilst I was preparing the kalalo. So that part there, but it's a real thing. I never have to show, you know. When you see real and when you get real, you have to appreciate real. Okay, and I did put the, um, that little piece of um, scotch bonnet, I did slice a piece and I did put it in there. Why I brought it down to medium at this point? This dish is, to, is supposed to finish with some juice in it. It's not supposed to finish dry like bami. It's supposed to be finished with some juice, so we need to take it down now. Huh? Okay, now we are dealing with that colorless soap now. And you don't see all the colorless steer. We're going to be putting in a little right over here, camera girl, shoot them up over here. We have some coarsely shredded carrot. And to get it like this, you use this side of your shredder grater. So right in here now, I'm going to put in my little, um, I'll put for you how much shredded carrot, coarsely shredded. You don't want to shred it too, too. And you need to shred it because it will cook evenly with the color. Now that you shred it, and I told you not to cook, if you look at the pasta, you realize it's not properly cooked. So it's about finished cook off in here. So, so we're going to be adding our pasta. Okay, and we are going to incorporate up all of the little something here. Yep, we are going to be incorporating every single thing. Incorporate it, and then, whilst we are incorporating it, we realize that we eat around this, so maybe it's good, I think it's good. We are going to be putting it incorporate, and now when we are finished incorporating, we are going to be turning off our stove, okay? And when we return, you'll see what we have. We are, sorry, when we incorporate this, we'll be putting on the cover. What is wrong? I wake up, I woke up too early this morning. So, we are going to be finished steaming down our kalalo into this coconut and this nice cook down, cook down. With our carrots, try to get them even out. And we are going to steam it down. And when we return, we are going to be tasting. And we also will be plating. Because I don't think this needs a lot of salt. You salt to your liking, okay? When we return, this dish should be finished and should it should be all in your face. You can add, as I say, some meat. But you'd have to know how to do the meat. I guess you'd have to do fine, fine. Look at it. You'd have to be do fine chunks of meat, like fine little pieces, and probably cook them at a time. If it's chicken, you could probably cook it in down. You do your thing. This is meatless, okay? When we return, this dish should be ready. Okay, now family, look at this. I want. Sh I came back to show you. I wanted to see at this stage. This is when you will turn your flame off, because you want it to have some juice in there. Because whilst we're gonna leave it to rest for a few minutes, and when we return, we have some plated for you. You don't let it dry all out. You want some liquid to be at the bottom, not a lot, though. You know, to have it all moist when you're eating it, you must have it all moist. You know, with all of them something in there. Because whilst it rests. 
the pasta is gonna, you know, absorb all of them nice juices from the coconut milk. And by any of us, we put no water in it, you know, we substitute it just all pure coconut milk for the liquid. So when we return, we'll add some oil plated. Okay, now family, try to use your tongue, something to drain the juices. So we're gonna plate up some for you. You try to take it up. Remember, as I told you, you can add some pieces of meat, whether it be sausages, smoked sausages, something meat, some meaty flavor thing, and you can make it your own. Okay, so I'm just plating up some for you that you can see. Use your tongue to plate it up so it's still moist, but you don't want to have too much of that juice. Let us go clean this plate and return to you. Okay, now family, all plated up. I've just plated up some for you. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach. It is Jamaican Kalalu cook-up. Jamaican Kalalu cook-up done by Debbie Donga Yard. Please do enjoy. Now, you can make your own thing with this. You can toast some sesame seeds and put it on top. You can sprinkle some parmesan. You can do what you'd like to do. If it is that you're you are entertaining you can use that you know to, to decorate the dish i'm just using this what i have i don't have all of those so please do enjoy had your meat if you want to have your powdered seasoning had your liquor thing do what you want to do if it is that you want to use your herbs like i use i leave them in the description as i said before if you'd like to substitute other herbs take it and make it your own okay once more please do enjoy now, if you have liked this video, I just ask of you, thumbs up the videos, thank you so much. Remember to share them. Remember to leave your comments below in a principal and decent way when you do that. And when you subscribe and hit the bell, it will enable you to leave your comments below in a principal and decent way. If you do that, you will be a part of the notification shout out crew. Today's post notification shout out. Just look up top there. Sometimes when you don't hear a call out your name, it's always going to be somewhere on the screen right there. I want to say right now, thank you so much for all my family members who are making donations to the PayPal. Thank you so very much. It is helping us to pre um, prepare some of these meals that you can get videos. Okay, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your support. And those of you who did not know that we have a PayPal donation button on our channel, I'm just saying to you now, if you'd like to make a donation, we would be grateful and thank you so much. Thank you so much for all my family members who are reaching out to me beyond YouTube. I love you so much. Thank you so very much. And remember, we have got a PO box. And also, we are going to leave it in the description. Our email will be in there as well and our WhatsApp number. Okay? And that's just about it for now. So once more, from my kitchen to yours, it is Debbie Dongayan, Jamaican, Kalalu Kuko. Please do enjoy. Debbie from Donga Yard, you realize I'm not saying that anymore. We want the blessing. Debbie from Donga Yard, bless. No stress.